Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding how to add a button into form view from the user interface and call a Python function on clicking the button. So currently in the screen, you are seeing Odoo version 14 community edition and this solution can be applied across all the Odoo versions and in the enterprise or in the community edition it's itself. So let's see how we can add a button to form view first. So what we will be doing is that I'll go to contacts form and if I open one record here you can see this is the rest.partner form and what I'll be doing I'll be adding a button inside this form view and I'll be calling a python function from this button. So what does the python function has to do? We are just trying to create a function that change the type. So here you can see a customer can be an individual or a company. So we'll be creating a button. On clicking that button, it will change the type. If it is individual, it will change to company. And if it is company, it will be changing into individual. So let's create such a button and its related code. So I'll be adding a button here. On, on clicking the button, it will be changing the type of the contact. So I have already activated the developer mode in the database you can see you have the developer option here so if you haven't activated the developer mode you can go to settings and just activate the debug mode and i'll be clicking on the debugger button here and i'll click on edit view form so this is the partner form so what i'm going to do i'm not going to directly edit the existing view if you do so it will be lost on upgrading the corresponding module so in order to not to lose the button on upgrading we will be creating an inherited view so we'll be creating an inherited view using add a line option so before going there let me copy a sample from here i'll copy this sample Control c and i'll come back to the same view this is the original view and we have inherited view here i'll click on add a line i'll give name it as test view for button i'll give name like this and it is an extension view model is rs.partner and you have to paste it here the thing that we have copied i'll paste it here and let me just adjust the indentation it's not necessary but still you can clean up your code and you have to close the data tag that is done so what we have done we have simply created a code data you have to open data then you have to export sheet i'm going to add inside the sheet i'm going to add a button sheet of group i'll give sheet of group just export expression and position i'll give before then this is just an export we have to give export that we are going to add a like this you can give export expression inside sheet group position before you had are going to add a button button name i'll keep it as empty now then type is action i'm going to create a type of action so you might think how i'm going to execute a button of type and calls python function i'll explain action and i'll give the string as change type change type and class oe highlight i'll give so that it will be highlighted oe highlight so that you will be getting the button in the blue color so simply i have in created an inherited view and i have added an x path and a button using that so if i cl click on save close save you will be getting error because we haven't specified the button name so you have to specify button name so the question is what name will be given here we have to specify the id of a server action so i told i'll be adding a button and on clicking the button button will be calling or executing a python function so it is using a server action so i'll keep this screen over here and i'll duplicate the screen and what i'll do i'll go to settings technical and if you scroll down inside the actions you have server action so what i'll do i'll create a server action here that is change type and you have to specify the model that is rs.partner we are going to add this to the 
rest dot partner model rest dot partner so i have opted it here and the action to do is execute a python code so i'll write a python code here record of company type i will explain the code let me write it first recorded company type equal to person if record dot company type equal to company else person so i'll write such a code over here else person i think the syntax is correct nothing is wrong i'll save so you have to just create a server action that execute the python code and you can see the id of the created record is 633 so you have to copy this id and you have to paste it here in the name button name should be the id of the created server action click on save save you can see there is no error now and you can see the button has been added so you can see change type has been added in the form and if you check here you can see the current type of the administrator is individual and if i click on change type it's not changed i think my code has some problem person if company type let me check the value so the values are person and company so company type so let me check on person let me check i need to debug the code there is something wrong with what i have run company type the field name is company type a record of company company type equal to person if company type equal to company let me write it company something wrong with the code that i have written let me check what's wrong over here person and uh, company company type equal to person if record of person so let me try another way i'm not sure what's wrong with what i have written let me try record of company type equal to person else it should be company so let me try this and if i come back here and if i refresh edit you can see it's getting executed so right now you can see right now the type is individual and if i click on change type it seems to be company again if i click it goes to individual so this is how you can add a button from the user interface using debug tools and execute or call a python function on clicking it just you need to create a server action that executes python code copy its id and give it as name of that button so if you go to edit view form if you go to edit view form inherited views and if you check test view for button the name we have given is the id of the created server action type has to be set as action so this is how you can call a python function from a button created from the user interface so if you have any doubts suggestions or feedback don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you